evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Candace Kelly. And I'm Nick Toma. Schools across the nation are facing serious teacher shortages, but one district in our area is bucking the trend. East Stroudsburg Area School District is adding 60 new teachers to classrooms this year. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sack tells us how their staff is preparing. These teachers are getting a few lessons of their own before their students head back to class at the East Stroudsburg Area School District's annual teacher induction ceremony. It's an opportunity to try to give them the foundation, the skills, and the baseline that they'll need to continue to grow and be successful in every day in the classroom. The induction is comprised of different training sessions and exercises. This year, the district is welcoming 60 new teachers to its schools. Many of the incoming teachers are just starting their careers. It's very exciting. It you go through the four years of undergraduate school and you're preparing and planning lessons and putting all this information, these resources together, and now you finally have the opportunity to use them. Other teachers are coming into the district with years of experience. There's, there's um, a need for teachers everywhere. Todd Moody has been teaching in Texas for over 20 years. Whether they're first-time teachers or veterans, they all have one thing in common, that they're excited to be teaching the next generation. It's so rewarding to be a part of a child's educational journey. It's just very important to be a teacher, to offer that safe space every day for at least seven hours, uh, make those relationships, build those connections. Well, I'm most excited to, to meet the kids, working with kids and getting to meet them and, and just watch them grow. When they walk across the stage, uh, you know, you had a part of that and that's the most rewarding thing that you can have. And 2822 reporter Amelia Sack joins us now live in the newsroom with some more information. Amelia, with a nationwide teacher shortage that we have, how was the district able to find such a large group of teachers? Nick and Candace, the director of human resources with the district credits the building administrators, supervisors, and the entire HR department for their work in recruiting and onboarding the new hires. He also says that, that the district is very welcoming, so that has helped bring people in as well. All right, however they got it done, they got it <laughs> they done. Sure That's did. good news for them. Thanks, Amelia.